Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all the different effects of negative feedback. Guys, in the first tutorial, we have gone through what is the main definition of feedback, its block diagram, and some few formulas of that. And in the next tutorial, we have gone through types of feedback, that is positive and negative. So in this tutorial, we are going through effects of negative feedback. So basically, there are four or five effects, guys. I'll be going through one after the other, no worries. Be cool, everything will be clear for you. So basically, we are going through negative feedback, right? So, how we can say that stabilization of gain is done in negative feedback? So, there is a small verification method, guys. We'll be going through it, don't worry. The gain of the amplifier in negative feedback is this, right? AF is equals to 1 by A plus A beta. This is what we, pr we found. The equation in negative feedback, I hope everyone remember this. So basically differentiate this equation with respect to A on both sides guys. So shall I do it or shall I show you guys? It's all up to you. Mm, it's really really small. Shall I do it? Or can you understand? It's small. Okay, you can understand it guys. It's really really small. There is no confusion in this at all. So basically before going through this you need to learn the formula u by v guys differentiation of u by v is nothing but v square to not, denominator will be v square numerator will be v u dash minus u v dash so this is the formula of u v that is what we apply for a by 1 plus a beta that is nothing but daf by da differentiating it with respect to a so we got this so applying u v denominator square into denominator into numerator dash that is equals to 1 minus numerator okay numerator into denominator dash that's what we get uh, a beta if you want like this you need to write a outside guys if you want to have it in exact form okay so now if you solve if you observe the numerator you can cancel this db sorry b a and this a beta and a beta that's it so those two are gone we got 1 by 1 plus a beta Right guys, on the left side it is nothing but dA f by dA is equals to 1 by 1 plus a beta. So I hope everyone is now clear with that expression. So I'll be just multiplying in the numerator with a and to divide with a. So that we gonna get dA f by dA is equals to a by a into 1 plus a beta whole square. So if you observe this cleanly a by 1 plus a beta what's it guys it's nothing but a f so i wrote a f by a into 1 plus a beta so we got this equation so now write all the a f terms one side and all the a terms one side so this is what we get d a f by a f is equals to d a by a into 1 plus a beta so we got this equation so this d a f by a f represents the fractional change in the amplifier voltage gain with feedback it's going to define the voltage gain of an amplifier change of voltage gain of an amplifier so now i hope everyone got an idea on this so da by a this this denotes the fractional change of voltage gain without feedback here we are not having a fright so if we are having a suffix what we call this okay in the in downwards if we have f like a f this will be of feedback gain so if there is no f this will be without feedback guys that's a small hint to remember okay so if we send this whole part this side so it will be something like this right a d a f by a f by d a by a so this whole we call it as sensitivity guys okay that sensitivity is equals to 1 by 1 plus a beta so you may ask me what is desensitivity now so desensitivity is nothing but the reciprocal of sensitivity. So that's what 1 plus a beta. So now if you ask me what's the definition of sensitivity in terms of words or something like that. Okay guys I'll be just showing it to you. I have just wrote it in my classwork. Okay. The sensitivity is defined as the rate of percentage change in voltage gain with feedback to the voltage gain without feedback. That's it right. This is with feedback, this is without feedback. Its ratio is nothing but sensitivity. So, sensitivity reciprocal is nothing but desensitivity. So, now I hope everyone is now 100% clear with the first effect 
of negative feedback so now let us go through some there are more three guys these are really really small these are not any kind of derivations or nothing like that so it will be clear for you so basically i told you in the properties that noise will be decreasing so there are uh, as we all know how is noise created guys there are many sources of noise around us right even my voice is a noise right yeah so there are many sources of noise in an amplifier depending upon the active device used in the negative feedback with the feedback ratio beta so let us assume that the initially without feedback the noise is n guys so noise with feedback means we will be writing f as i told you so we can say that it will be decreasing as a ratio of 1 by 1 plus a beta 1 plus a beta okay so it's going to decrease remember in this negative feedback if it is decreasing according to you if it is decreasing you will be dividing it by 1 plus a beta if it is increasing you will be multiplying it with 1 plus a beta that's the small trick guys for your, for our memory that's how i remember so i hope everyone got a small idea on that guys so now let us go through decrease in distortion so distortion is also nothing but same similar to okay distortion amplifier with one loop voltage gain open loop voltage gain a total harmonic distortion distortion is nothing but a noise guys similar to noise that's it that's the distortion means but in this the wave or the open loop gain of the voltage will vary due to that distortion the wave will change its shape or something like that so that will be all about the distortion decrease means we'll be dividing it with 1 plus d by 1 plus a beta so now i hope everyone got a small idea on this so now let us go through the most important and an expected five marks question guys even this only for this uh, increase in feedback proof is asked one time for five marks guys that's one of the most important thing so come on let's go through it so that it will be clear for you okay basically increase in bandwidth guys so basically we will be assuming this bandwidth as with feedback and this small bandwidth is without feedback so i'll be drawing a new diagram for your understanding guys so basically we'll be drawing the with feedback or without feedback we'll be drawing with with feedback as that's better so with feedback will be nothing but like this so it's going to be like a mountain to be clear okay it's like this so we'll be assuming the peak as d beta so from this d beta so 0 d beta let us assume so from this 0 d beta we will be taking three steps below that is nothing but minus 3 d beta so that will be our step so at that step we will be drawing the line okay so this d beta exactly exists here guys not at the peak at some existing point so this touches here and this touches here right so draw the perpendicular line guys like this so i have told you that this is without sorry with feedback this part right so this part will be without feedback guys as this whole okay okay sorry i am a bit confused so this whole part is without feedback okay so once we connect it we got these two points so this will be without feedback b w without feedback so we'll be assuming this as f1 and we'll be assuming as this as f2 so now similarly at this level we will be drawing another one that is nothing but like this okay i have just drawn it so now the peak if we cut it it's going to touch here and it's going to touch assume here so now draw the per, pa, perpendicular parallel perpendicular lines so that this will be f1 with feedback f2 with feedback and this bandwidth will be with feedback so if you observe clearly just from the diagram itself we can say that the bandwidth without feedback is less than with feedback so 
bandwidth is increasing when we give feedback network so now i hope everyone is now clear with this topic so now let us further move on to theoretical approach i hope everyone is now with the clearly with the diagrammatical way so now let us go in terms of statements so bandwidth is the difference between the upper cut off frequency and lower cut off frequency so x axis will be frequency and the y axis will be the sound units guys decibels that is nothing but db okay so the product of voltage gain of bandwidth of an amplifier without and with feedback is same the product of voltage gain the product of voltage gain and bandwidth is same guys for both with feedback and without feedback by using those equation we will be trying to solve so you may ask me that what is the okay what is the symbol for this voltage gain the symbol for voltage gain is nothing but a guys so basically from that we can say that a without feedback a is with multiple without feedback bandwidth is equals to a with feedback with aw with feedback so we can say that as we all know that basically okay just give me a second guys i'll be just referring and i'll be saying you in clarity okay mm. basically voltage gain right so we'll be going through voltage gain first okay so from the diagram we can clearly say that the bandwidth is increasing so if the first bandwidth f1 without feedback is f1 and f2 is without feedback as the bandwidth is increasing what is the change in f1 and what is the change in f2 that is what we are going to see now so basically in the diagram f2 is decreasing sorry f1 is decreasing f1 by 1 plus a beta as f1 is moving back in the diagram f1 here f1 is there means without feedback it is there here so here it is f2 means here with feedback it is there like this these are with feedbacks these are without feedbacks so f1 is decreasing f2 is increasing f2 will be multiple f1 will be divisible so this is how the the things happen with feedback sorry with bandwidth in negative feedback so now i hope everyone is now clear with negative feedback so basically application of negative feedback is with amplifiers guys that's a basic thing most of the amplifiers are designed using these negative feedback only so now i hope everyone got a small idea on this so there are four different types of connections guys in negative feedback so in the next class we will be going through all those four things in detail Okay thank you thanks for watching